Good morning, everyone. I'm on my way to the barn. But I wanted to show you something. If, say, you're out there going, oh, my gosh, I wish I could get this person something or this or that, and I don't know what. If they have animals, one thing, okay, that really has gone up. And sometimes you wonder, man, are we going to run out of dog food or something? Yeah, that would kind of, okay, we could still feed our dogs, but still, okay. So, uh. My husband came yesterday and he says, hey, I got a bunch of stuff. You know, I want to put under your tree. I'm going, really? And this is what he brought. Look at this. So here we got the apples. And this is a advanced joint supplement for our horses. I think like, I'm going to have an apple of that. They look pretty good. That's not cheap stuff. And all, you know, a lot of our horses are seniors, so, right? Then here, he brings a taste of the wild for our dogs. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Not, you know, the way they are running around in the wild here, you know, who knows what they're eating out there. So that's nice, back dog food. Then here, for a cat, uh, he brought some. Uh, we only have one left. Look, and that's <laughs> oh, Burlington is, about, is a wild cat. Salmon, chicken, and duck. Ooh, I wonder if he'll eat it. He actually likes to hunt his own fresh food, so we'll see. But then the dogs can eat it if he won't eat it. But my feeling is he'll love this and he'll eat it. And then we got here a little suet thing for our birds. Anyway. There goes the phone again. I'm just going to check and see who it is. Anywho, so... Yeah, I don't need to answer that. That's for sissy. <laughs> oh, so you just let it go? Yes, I got to go to the barn. <laughs> anyway, so isn't that neat, right? Yes. Oh, there's Gus. There's Burley. Let's go, guys. Anyway, so if, yeah, people already have mostly everything out there. And one just goes and get something, you know, just so you have... Well, if they have animals, I'm telling you what, right? Come on. They'll be uh, uh, excited with a gift card to a pet shop or something. Or, or if you know, right? we don't have dogs here that can't uh, eat what there is, right? Nobody got allergic reactions and jazz like that here. The horse is the same thing. Um, I do have to watch a little bit. What we're giving Bo, our 35-year, 434-year-old horse, mainly because a horse's uh, metabolism changes when they get that old. And so, uh, but again, and then Maverick, of course, who was very badly mistreated as a young horse. We got him when he was three, and he has to be watched on how much grain you give him this. Uh, can't give him corn, but we have other things here that eat corn. Uh, because he'll colic. He's wet out here, and I need to make it up there without slipping. Oh, I gotta go to the, the piggy first, anyway. So I haven't made a video for a while in the barn. I realized too. Oh, she's a waiting. We only have one left. I think it's quite clear that. Hey, girl. Uh, set you up right here for a sec. We lost one piggy sheep. Not sure what happened again. This is wild country here. Unless... There you go, baby. Unless you have everything locked up. Uh, you're going to have some casualties here. Eh, which way to go now? What do you think, Gus? This way? Ugh, got to be careful. Not to slip, not ever to take a misstep. Or I could be incapacitated for a while. Okay, I need it just fine. So what do I want to talk about? Oh, here's the crew. You guys haven't seen the crew in a while. 
Say hi, Bo. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. He's getting more and more white in the face. Hey, you hungry? You hungry? Say yes. Oh, okay, all right. It's Charlie. Charlie, you too? Yeah, he's getting older too. And hope oh, here just the ears. And a little Christmas donkey. Oh, the other thing too. It's just the cutest thing. <laughs> now they all got their winter coat again. I'm gonna set you up right here. They all got their winter coat. You wanna lick this out? And uh, they all look like little woolly mammoths. head knock you in the head you'll think twice of getting in the way he's doing what he's doing right now easy 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 good boy okay uh, it tells me too I look at the coats when they get them and then I look, uh, and all of them, oh, they're coming up ahead. Thank you. The boat's right on the front here. <laughs> nice. I like it. Well, oh, hi, Jake. Where's Bo? Did he come back too with you? Huh? They haven't eaten that breakfast yet. Jake, uh, Gus came back sooner. They've already had their run. You have to stay in today. It's your resting day. I know. And then tomorrow you have to stay in too. get his days of rest in the barn you can just tell he looks like he's had a big old bottle of whiskey or something okay and I know that he he won't slow down right yeah to uh, to make sure that uh, he does better yeah yes he just won't oh Charlie won't let him that's another thing too so he has to stay in today and tomorrow's and day after tomorrow we'll make it interesting enough for them so but one thing too we're gonna have this most likely ice and then snow over top which you know I can't want to let them out well one thing is, is that horses can split their legs like this and you'll never know and a few days later you have a dead horse because something internally has just ruptured right and they bleed out internally can't see it on the outside so i'm very careful to not let them out in conditions that are just not safe for them right you got to remember this they're not mustangs wild horses out there who know better right who are used to that certain condition they're pets yeah yes they act like pets too most of the time Unless they're being a little obstinate and stubborn, which they can be as well. Alright, let's throw this up. Chip. 
chickens are already out there kind of doing their thing. And uh, not too worried about that. Where's that stove now? You haven't eaten yet. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> the chickens are out there digging, scratching for I don't know. I saw almost like they're I'm, I'm not, not sure why I threw this out. I know the horses will eat it. They're not around even. They're, they're, they're getting what they need for the... It's almost as if they know we have cold days coming. The interesting thing for chicken, so they have, they have the chicken coop. They all are going into it. So I'll be able to close that down. The snack. And the pig is in there with them. They keep each other warm. But uh, I've had them in below below zero degrees still sitting in the trees, roosting in the trees, and never lost one. Interesting, right? Yes. Anywho, so, again, how amazing it is on how God has equipped animals to insert whatever places they're in on um, how they survive in, in the temperatures that are, are given. So he needs a little, I gave him the regular hay, which it looks like nothing but sticks and stuff, but they love it, they eat every bit of it. Here you go, boy. But he needs... Uh, just a little bit of, not much, a little bit of alfalfa hay, which helps him digest all the other hay better. You see, alfalfa hay is very expensive, okay? $35 for a compressed bale, but that's $35. And uh, he gets, uh, you know, a couple of handfuls, uh, and it, it's, it's making a, a world of difference. It's amazing when you know, when you read up on things, you get the knowledge, right? And then are able to keep your crew healthy and happy. Yes? I'm still the master. <laughs> I'm the one who has to implement most everything. And keep things just right. Right, Sage? You want to come out? Come on. Come on, little woolly. Our little Christmas donkey, huh? Most likely one of your ancestors carried uh, Mother Mary and little baby Jesus, huh? On its back. Yeah, I could see I looked at it the other day. It's kind of, it's kind of fat. And uh, his, his back, you know, how do you ride a, I mean, okay, without a saddle. They didn't have saddles at the time or whatever. But I look at Sage and how, <laughs> I mean, it's literally, you, you, you could use him as a table right now, okay? And I could see how actually it would be very comfortable for Mary to ride that donkey. They're all different than horses. So also reading up on donkeys when they get older, I said that make sure they don't get too fat. This is difficult for them to lose the weight. Absolutely true. And yet, if I were to want to, for him to get skinnier somehow, I'd have to starve him continuously. He's old. He's going on. Gosh, he's got to be close to 30 years old now too. I'm going to starve him. As I said, I looked at him the other day. I'm going, I can see how it would be kind of comfortable riding that donkey. Right? How, how Mary might have not been too uncomfortable eight months pregnant or something. 
Yeah? Just about nine months pregnant. Yeah, a skinny donkey, that, that would have been a hard thing. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying, right? Yeah? Yeah, one never quite... Okay, so all the information that is out there, always correct for a, all and anything, when it comes to even health for, for animals or for people, or, that, or uh, yes. So, in the spring too, so oh, they all look a little woolly. Oh, just cute. So they're healthy, I can tell. They've all got in their coats. Now, Maverick never gets a big old heavy coat, but he's got his too, don't you? Huh? Yes, yeah, I'm all right. Okay, I better close this off here. How come? Which brings me to what I really want to talk about, which is... There are certain things that get addressed very regularly, repeatedly, and in many ways selective without the uh, inconsistencies that go with certain things. So, and I'm just using this as an example and what I have observed. Now, am I right about it? Well, I just had a conversation with someone and they were very adamant that, well, no, that's not the point of the whole thing. I'm going, okay, but to me it is. To me it is. To me I see these inconsistencies. I'll tell you what, is, what I found. You ready to? So we have this young guy and I can't, can't remember what his name is, but he had this uh, online currency going and uh, due to the fact that, again, a couple of actors, Hollywood type people supported it, yeah? oh great, thanks, now. and people went for it. Now, okay, well, first of all, why would you people consider anything that an actor has to say out there, or this or that, more than someone like me, for example. Why would you? Why, because they're famous? Because they're on TV and you like watching their shows? What does that tell you about them? Anything? So they got a lot of money with what they're doing, right? Yes? And, and don't get me wrong, a good actor, yeah, that knows how to act really. That's a good craft, I'm telling you. It's an amazing gift. I wouldn't be able to do it. All right, but then there's other things I can't do. Right? Yes? Uh, that uh, very uh, humble people do, right? Are really good at. Yes? Uh, okay. Oh, look. I was wondering where that button went. It's right there. So, so this young man who, uh, that, you know, okay, see, makes all these millions, what, billions even, and he uh, gets it from people investing into something. All right, a currency. You're investing currency into currency. Yeah, but that could go, okay, I'm just saying. And then, uh, of course, since it isn't a product or anything, that's being made and put out there when there when, where then even if you invest uh, the extra the, where there's some something coming back in this case it just all went out and suddenly it was gone and then it kind of dud it <laughs> okay so here the young man <laughs> hunted right down now for fraud and uh, you know you look at on, on on how much jail time you'll get for that. <clears throat> so he goes to the Bahamas, hangs out there. Well, and somehow, okay, the Bahamas uh, a government, whoever is in charge there, suddenly has something on him too. So okay, all right, the dude is toast. Young guy, he's toast. He's toast because. 
Some of you thought you're going to get rich quick. Some of you thought that. That probably didn't. Eh? Went with someone's, I don't know what, eh? suggestion. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, well, we can trust those people. Didn't get any kind of information yourself. What's going to happen with my money if I do that? <laughs> yes? Okay, or whatever. So you've, you've, I, I think that, in my personal opinion, you kind of got your just desserts. Sorry, you just did. And uh, here's this young dude you know, who says, well, I didn't really know what I was doing. Okay, do I believe him? No. But uh, supposedly, before all this, he was this great philanthropist who helped that, okay, Democrats, <laughs> whatever, okay. <laughs> In any case, so, and the FBI was right on top of him, right? Oh, yeah, uh-huh, uh, oh, and things went, woo-hoo, yeah, uh-huh, we got him. Wow. Job well done? Yes? Really? Oh, okay. All right, this is what came to my mind immediately. Okay. Now, I've heard enough about the Biden family, about the father and the son, and what they've been involved in, what they have all done. I mean, we're talking crimes of human trafficking even. It's out there, it's not being disputed, or this, it's just kind of not, well, yeah, okay, well, we found, yeah. I mean, it's, there are people, I've watched a video where there's a guy standing there in a Congress, and he's letting everybody know, this is what's going on with this family. That's in Congress. This isn't somewhere in a little room or in a church or, okay, church, in a little room or, in a, or, or, or somewhere in a, a, a university or in, a, in an auditorium, you know, where somebody's just, hey, this is what we think is going on and there may be some evidence and, and one should look. No, no, this is, okay, from a Republican Congressman, I, I want to say senator, but I'm not sure about that now, who is laying it all out and saying, this is what's going on in Congress, okay, at the Capitol. Don't go, well, after this is out, no doubt, right? No, nothing happens. FBI isn't doing a thing. Oh, it's been weeks now already. The FBI isn't doing a thing. Huh? Oh, Elon Musk supposedly with him. Well, okay, so <laughs> that's already been out. Also, again, for how long? Nothing's happening. Nobody in jail. Nobody, and these are, in my opinion, drug trafficking, human trafficking. Yeah? Okay, all the money fraud there going on. Okay, that's way more serious to me than that other dude. Who, for one reason or another, okay, yeah, yeah. And you've been had, you've given your money up freely. Freely. Okay? But this young man's taken care of. Just like that. Hey, I'm just saying, I'm just noticing. I'm saying I have it all together, or I know it all, or this or that. I just find that interesting. Just saying. I find that interesting. So there it is, right? Yes? Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Burley? Hmm? Yes? Anywho, I could say more to it. I just wanted to give people kind of my perspective on what's going on out there, really, when it comes down to it with certain things. How is it so easy yeah, to convict one person? And uh, in other cases, it's like, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Let him go free. Let that young man go free. You're letting worse criminals go free. Yeah. Why bother with him? I'm not getting it. Just saying. And what is his crime, actually? <laughs> what is his crime, actually? All right, just saying. Sure, there's some stuff made up there, too, this, that. I just, I just know it. 
But again, I just wanted to show the difference on how some people are being handled and how other people are being handled <coughs> on how it doesn't make sense. The severity in one case and the absolute lack of any kind of action, though I consider way worse at all. God's love and blessings always. May he protect you. I will talk to you all another time.